I'm about to show you how to flip houses just like this, making 10,000, 15,000 a month just by using PropStream. Hey, I'm gonna show you how to wholesale houses, man. You can literally wholesale houses from your house. Some of the properties we lock up and close on, I never see. And I walk away with a check for $10,000, $15,000, sometimes even $25,000, and I never looked at the property. So I'm gonna show you the process we use with utilizing PropStream. I am gonna give you my affiliate link on the bottom of this video, durudata.com. So that way you can get a seven day free trial. Now, if you're wondering what plan you should sign up for, I recommend the $97 plan, which is the 10,000 leads per month, okay? And especially if you're new, you're probably not going to utilize the whole 10,000 uh, leads a month, all right? This is a paid for service, but it's well worth it if you're going to be wholesaling and want to take this business seriously out from the gate if you're in the financial position to do so, okay? so. What I want to do here, guys, I am going to, you guys know I am in Charlotte, North Carolina, man. Shout out to Charlotte, man. Home of the Hornets, home of the Carolina Panthers, man. We'll get it together one day. So, first things first, you're looking for a motivated seller. You do not want somebody who wants to sell. You want to deal with somebody who needs to sell. What is a situation that somebody needs to sell it? Well, maybe the house is vacant and not creating no income and property taxes. They happen no matter what and they don't go away. So, you know, property tax, vacant house, tired landlord, pre foreclosure, bankruptcy, divorce. These are things that can lead somebody to need to sell the house and not just want, okay? So listen, uh, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go to filter, all right? I'm gonna do no owner occupants, right? I'm going to do people um, that they have an extra house, right? They have an extra property, okay? So they're more than likely to be motivated because what you're fine with owner occupied stuff, even if they're going through pre foreclosure, they do not wanna give that property up. What I want to do, right? I want to go after these are I'm going to give you two of my lists, right? Pre foreclosures. Okay. Oh, whoa, man. I, I like that one. And that's a great one to pick up rental properties as well. <laughs> All right. So pre foreclosure. Another one I've been having some success with. Where is it at? Oh, I'm sorry. It's right at the top. Um, vacant house list, right? So we're going to go out to pre foreclosures, right? Property characteristics, I am going to do single family condos, two to four units, okay? This is important, right? The MLS stat is important. No, I don't want anything on market. I want off market deals. So make sure you hit no on that one. That's extremely important. All, I want all of them that's going to some type of pre foreclosure, no matter what stage, right? Let's take a look at that. And for the sake of this video, uh, not I can't get too granular, but I'm going to give you the overall gist of it. All right. So right now, Charlotte, North Carolina, let's see how many properties I have. I have about 25 right now, right? Now, can you go after 25 houses? Generally, that's not enough houses. But when you're dealing with a high motivation list, you don't have to go for a lot of stuff, right? So I'm gonna pull this list for 25 houses and I'm gonna call these people because all these people are dealing with some type of uh, pre-foreclosure, right? So that's the, that's the pre-foreclosure. And guys, if uh, you want more um, than that, then you can, do, you can go after the county. But for the sake of this video, Pre foreclosure, right? So then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add two lists, right? And as you guys see, I got 10,000 um, leads to download for this period, right? So what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna create new and the new the new name of the list, Char, oops, lit pre four, right? 
and then I hit save. So all that's going to go to the list, right? So, but for the sake of argument, let me cancel this one out because I'm not going to save it. I'm just using this as a tool to show you guys how to do it. All right. So I am going to cold call and text these people. The text message is simple. It's more like, hey, are you open to selling 123 Main Street? Simple as that, right? Now, as far as the scripts, if you want the scripts, uh, this is what I want you to do. All right, so now we are in this Facebook group called Wholesaling with the Duro. This is a free Facebook group, guys, so you can get in free to get access and get your questions answered, please. Oh, look, somebody in my group, they made 35,000 on this deal. They made 35,000, somebody posted this. Close a wholesale, sharing the motivate, let's finish up 2022 strong. Sellers is there, they want to keep paying tax. Okay, remember I, I told you about taxes earlier? Close a wholesale deal, sharing to motivate. Let's finish up 2022 strong and find the sellers what that want to sell for this deal they didn't want to keep paying taxes on the property they weren't living in reach out to owners is worth it now, this is in my free group right they made thirty-five thousand. all right so after that successful testimonial from ashley thank you for that ashley for posting that in my group to motivate others all right so what you're gonna do you're gonna scroll to the top you're gonna go to more you're gonna look at the files right so you click on files Boom! What do you have here? A whole bunch of free files for you to use. Authorization to release form. So when you're going after uh, your pre-foreclosures, all of that stuff, right? Let's see what we have here. You're going to scroll down to where it says Duru Cold Calling Scripts. Duru Cold Calling Scripts. Boom. Now you're going to get the Duru Cold Calling Script for free. And you're going to call these people up. This is my free Facebook group. All right. So boom. So now you got the script. So you know what to say to people. Right. I got some heavy hitters in here too, man. Appreciate everybody who uh, put up some files to share and give back to the community. So you're going to call them. So let's say that somebody is saying, hey, look, they raise their hand and say, hey, I want to sell my house. I need to get rid of this thing. If you can give me 150000 you can have it. Right. But you know the house is worth three hundred thousand. So is one hundred fifty thousand sound like a good deal? Yes, because the name of the game we it's a numbers game. We just want to get these properties low enough so that we can make our fee and leave meat on for the end buyer, right? Because the end buyer are looking for properties that have meat on them, and this is how they eat the meat. They gotta fix and flip houses. They gotta collect more rental properties. Okay. If they don't get properties, they don't eat. So they need this service from you guys. 1925 St. Luke, right? I'm just going to utilize this one, right? Clicked on that and let me pull that one up. 1925. Okay, guys. So let me go to detail. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to... Um, do I want the pre-foreclosure details? I necessarily don't need to see that, but it's in foreclosure, whatever the case may be. I want to go to the comps, right? So we're getting this for 150. This is another way, right? You can get your, this is why I like this tool. You can get your comparables, right? 2005 sold for 365. That was a three bedroom, two bath, 1300 square feet, right? But for the sake of this argument, instead of going through all these comparables, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just say 300, right? Just for the, you know, for this video, right? I need cash buyers. Where do I find those guys who have cash buyers? I'm going to go up here and click this bus button. It's 150 cash buyers around this property. 150. So out of 150, do you think one person will probably say yes if they need properties to eat? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add to list, right? I'm going to add this to a list. I'm going to create new cash buyers, right? I'm going to hit save and I'm going to create that list, okay? Then what I do, right? I am go I got to pull that data down and I got to skip trace that data. From skip tracing, you can use bigskiptracing.com. They can skip trace LLCs. They can do one as well. So this is a site that I like to use that I promote to my students, all right? So in this video, I taught you how to find motivated sellers, okay? I told you what Facebook group to go for the scripts. 
and you're going to get the contracts in there as well. Or you can go to durucontracts.com to get my free contracts, right? How do you fill out a contract? How do you fill out this legal document? I got you covered. Do you see that video? Filling contracts 101? I got that video for free for you. It's, this is all free, okay? So guys, what you're gonna do then is you're going to, um, you can watch this video. This video will show you how to fill out a contract. I'm gonna link this video uh, to the end of this video so that you can have that uh, that information as well okay so now depending on your state I am in North Carolina I will then I got my contract from the seller right I'm going to assign it to a buyer I'm going to get a deposit 2500 non-refundable from him then I'm going to take that to the attorney or the title company since I'm in North Carolina we use attorneys I dropped that off to the attorneys Remember, we got the deal for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So what we're going to do now is we end up selling it to the cash buyer for one hundred and sixty five thousand dollars. OK, and he's going to put the money in and fix it up. All right. What he makes is his business. I like that we want to move contracts because we want to get these things at a volume. So when we're closing multiple deals a month, we have multiple tens and fifteen thousands a month coming in all right so don't you don't want to take all the meat off the bone you want to price it so that it can move and then you look on to the next one let's say we sold to the cash buyer for 165 thousand one of the 150 people that we found in prom street okay the attorney does the title search now as far as it being pre-foreclosure don't let that don't let that scare you you just have to move fast so you have to move before their auction date if it's currently getting bid on and you're in North Carolina, that's different. You still have 10 days from the last bid, okay? You still have 10 days from the last bid to close on that deal. As long as you close on it before that sale is final downtown, you can beat them. So you'll tell the attorney, hey, this is a pre-foreclosure. I have to close this fast. Can you get this done in five days, okay? An attorney, if you're in the uh, North Carolina market, let me give you an attorney, right? I'm just giving everything away today, guys. 24-hour title. They can get stuff done fast, okay? They probably work with 50 pre-foreclosures a day, easily. So they can get it done fast, so you can talk to these guys, and they know exactly what they need to do to get into the closing table, okay? In this video, I use prop strings to find my seller, I use prop strings to find my buyer, you see, I have the Facebook group for the resources I need, durucontracts.com. If you uh, want to get the contracts, send to your email, and you got the Word format. I showed you the YouTube video where I'm teaching you how to fill out a contract, okay? I gave you the attorney's office I use, so you literally have all the tools you need to get this thing to the closing table, right? So I hope this video was helpful you see why i use prop stream because it makes everything so much easier so much easier durudata.com go get the seven day free trial sign up for it man this thing is life-changing all this is easy when i first got started back in 2011 when i did my first deal man uh, we didn't have a prop stream or i didn't know about a prop stream so this stuff was a lot more difficult to do now you can get everything for one low price if i wanted cash buyers I had to call a realtor because the realtors are going to MLS and they will have to email me um, the cash buyers, man. So that's how that would work. And then I would print it out and have to mail them and all that. But everything is much easier, guys, as you see. So wrapping up this video, I am going to put this video with me filling out contracts, okay? Um, so click on that. Watch that on how to fill out contracts so you can get out here and get this money. I'm Nasser, a.k.a. the real estate guru. I'm not a guru. I'm a guru because I actually do this business. Hey, comment below. What do you want me to make a video on in the wholesale? Comment below and I look into it.